Okay, where is this thing? Uh, other number thirty six zero one two almost there. Yeah, so I'm basically carrying on with this grid cast thing that I was working on right now. Um, I feel like I'm almost there. Uh -oh. oh, that's not right. That's the column. Um, Oh, it's just going to keep pushing back boxes every time it draws. Mm -hmm. That's not very really right. Uh, select the right results, row and column. Now we need to test. Just test if the mouse is over this particular word. Why do we even bother with this thing? Why don't we just... Do this. Use get mouse position in the renderers draw method. In the beginning of the draw method, what we should probably do is this. Then, uh, 
the eye thing should be correct. But it's but weird, very weird. It's gonna work. it should work, but but it's not it's not strictly right. Um That will say. That right and bottom I'm also not sure about. Because I think it's using the width and the height. I don't even know if it's getting anywhere in there. Top left side, top. Why go and equal to first top? And let's make it to top left side. Left, 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 left. I don't understand why it's not flashing anything. Okay, if you want to use like a seven. Black box there, so I said.
Why is this not working? It should trigger draw. It should trigger this. Um, Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close to this little thing working. And this will be a very cool little feature. It's, re it's re really potentially powerful for users. Draw 0.0. 0. That's, I mean, that doesn't look wrong. Select box three, draw zero comma zero. Select box three, select box four. Selecting the right box. Um, and it is calling draw. Always draw on the correct thing. Everything looks right. Um, oh, wait a minute. That shouldn't be I, it should be. That thing is five. Ah, oh, makes no sense there. Eh? Ah. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Now it's talking. Um, okay, it's one off. So, should we have this one or something? Or oh, minus one. Wow, that's neat. That is what I want. That is flipping cool. Okay, it's not working for row two. And he works to zero comes zero, that's a bit weird. And um that is very cool, that is powerful AF Um, there's probably better ways to do this, but uh, look at that, look how cool that is. So it knows the word we're over, and that that is very cool because. Now I can do things like, um, well, it shouldn't make it bold. I mean, that's sort of silly, but we could make it bold, but that's not the, uh, what I want to do is make it a little dotted underline. And then if you click on it, uh, it's a bit slow. Like, why isn't it instant? Oh, probably because of all those silly logs. Um, but now I'm wondering why it doesn't work in row uh, in row, in column, in row two. Let's just check. Mop. Okay.
Checkbox 3, there's one here. Um, here one, column one. Well, first of all, that, that column number is wrong. Like, it says we're in 0, 0 cell, but they're not, we're in line 34. So, huh? This part here yeah, that says x, y, it's a cell. It says we in row. That is not right. It's a row. A good cell code. But even though it's not scrolled, it should work because it is all details, row comma column, comma row, okay. Let's pick some more in here, yeah. Boxes. I get second. Okay, let's put the string there just for interest so we can see the word it's comparing against. So it works for the first row. See, boom, boom, boom. That's what we want. Doesn't work for row one. The words are right, so it's testing against the correct thing. So it, it's a coordinate test that's been failing. Um, two six three by two three three seven by ten. Uh, and there we have like two ninety by thirty nine. Two ninety by thirty nine. Whereas it claims it's two seven seven with a width of twenty eight. 
the x pixels look correct, the x coordinates look correct, the y coordinates don't look correct. The y coordinates are always just 5 and 20. So that's probably because I've done them like relative then to the top of those. The X looks correct, the Y is failing. Y, we've got to um, it's also not correct is when it's like that, that's weird. Right? Okay, now stand on pus. Pus, sorry, pus. Oh. So it's showing it's claiming we're in row zero. Zero is the visible one, but it's not the actual one. Um, okay, taking the scrolling into account, so two things are wrong. Alrighty, get top, get height. Oh, that's why. Maybe I should just skip the selected row stuff and just just call draw. That's better. Okay, now we're picking up. But if we scroll, it's not right. See. But if we don't scroll, it's actually correct. It's, it's, it's selecting the right thing. Now what's really cool about this then, I can do things like have a menu that pops up if we click on the word. Like let's say you want to start a search for incapables. And you double click on it or you click it. That's what I want to add. That's really neat. And you can, this whole big menu that for all these commands, I want to be able to say right click and have all these commands. For each word that you float over. Or other things, disclaim. Oh, public support, etc. Et or show statistics. Um, about the word, like if, if we have a word list calculated, then we could show frequency for example X, Y, to sell. Let's see why that isn't quite working. I'm going to have an insertion. Maybe this. Okay, how do we do that? Um, we need to translate the mouse position in device coordinates to logical coordinates.
and then we use the first unscrolled position Yeah, again it works if I don't scroll. Doesn't work if I scroll away. Uh, XX fly away. Scout and scroll position. Oh, this is the wrong way around. I want um, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, Maybe that was wrong. Maybe it was on scroll position. So 203101 becomes 203146. Oh, this doesn't really help because even though we then know we're in column 5, which is labeled column 6, we now get the correct column, but 
the rects also in device coordinates. No, in logical coordinates. Look, three, three, six. No, 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 that's the x. Um, one, three, five by twenty. So the rects are in logical coordinates. Is sixteen fifty seven? Oh, wait, what? Two ten twenty two, two ten sixty seven. Fifty seven and a height of twenty. I know why it's not working because we should be using our xx and yy I think Okay, still not working. <laughs> um, two four nine by seventeen, two four nine three seven seven. Okay, it's got the correct words that it's scrolling through. Three three two in sun party it. Okay, and it does say select correctly, and then it says draw. Eighty nine, Um, let's just see what it says we're in row 14. Why is it saying draw two different? Look. When I did that, it went bold. Look, there it's bold. So it is correctly getting it. It's correctly selecting it for highlighting, but it's not drawing it correctly now. I think. So, uh, cell to rect. Refresh rect. Is, uh, I guess, not really right.
that's working fine but if we scroll stops working refresh uh, here, select box 5 refresh here comes for 9 so what that the refresh part is working wrong that's very silly that rest it's getting is then in logical coordinates which we have to translate again now um So yeah, we need that in device coordinates, I guess. I don't know. Why don't we just call draw? Okay, yeah, we can't just call draw. We have to do it. Let's refresh. It's more complicated than that. Um, Those are in logical coordinates. If that was five, refresh here comes here for nine, eight, seven, six, two, twenty five. And It's not actually calling draw. Now it calls draw. Why? I like solution. Huh? It worked. Look at that. Why is it only working when I click? Oh, because the click forces a redraw. So the yes, the, okay, the selection is working correctly. But the, the 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 forcing of the redraw is not correct. Draw three comes three three six. Uh, that redraws the row. Just the, the, the selection causes the row to be redrawn just because the repro the selected state has changed, which in turn then. I mean, you you, you could just click. Oh, we use the click. That's not a solution. We want to force a redraw.
just now it was forcing a redraw but of the wrong rows, and now it's not even doing that. Um, Right, so I'll be right here. We got cell run on ten, which is supposedly correct, and it says here comma one and four twenty five, which is correct. It's correct in logical coordinates. Draw drawing row 9 and 10, even though I'm in row 7. Draw 12, 11, 10. Right to it, don't get straight to it. Oh dear. Um. There we go. Something still looks wrong though, because... Oh no, there we don't go. Sort of almost working. But it's the almost that worries me. Why the hell is it such a mess? Draw. Hmm. Nah, it's just a mess.
That's how we kill. We force should go the entire grid. Let's see if it works. It works. Okay. That works great, except for, well, the flicker. Because <laughs> I'm necessarily forcing it. Um, Works fine there. Draw one comma three, zero comma three. It's not quite right because it shouldn't be redrawing the center. Should I have to do refresh? Yeah, why is it saying refresh for 104? That 104 doesn't make sense. Ah, man, that's not right. Okay. Still doesn't look right there. Hmm. Two three four nine fifty two two five. That's weird. Do that. Stops there. Two three four nine. Why are we getting here zero comma five and zero comma four? That is too drawing. It should always be only one. That width almost looks like the same width as this. That may have something to do with it. Uh, um, hmm. Almost working. That is basically working. In fact, what's wrong with that? Nothing except this. This part here. Why not four? Just 
check the mass coordinates going in are far from an eighty nine. Nearest three forty three. So it's about three forty something, three fifty. Um, I'm going to call to fresh at zero point three four nine. It sounds right. You know what? I wonder maybe you're supposed to be doing this. Refreshing. Oh, that's not working. The force. No, it's still working. It's working fine. But it's still doing that thing. What if we do this? It works. Wow. Awesome. This is stunning. There's a couple of things wrong. It's not going to work on this side. Over that. Because when I redraw each cell, it resets currently that box, which is not right. Okay, now let's see how fast it is. It's really slow, but I think it's because of all these visible warnings. Any login? Let's use a different word. Merci. Okay, we still visible warning in a lot. I do have an idea how to fix that. I'm not sure if it's going to be trivial or non trivial. I'll check in a minute. The, the reset problem across the cells. We're just going to make the um, the map index a pair of integers instead of 
Uh, okay, so there's a problem here, <laughs> obviously. It doesn't, um, when you move the mouse away and it deselects, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> that's funny about it. You can draw things. Um, and it's really horribly flickery, but that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. It doesn't deselect, so we need to detect unmask leave the cell and also redraw the in that case. Um put this stuff here. Then freeze. Freeze doesn't work like that. Okay, let's ignore the flickering for now. And this is not too difficult. Basically, instead of instead of resetting this, yeah, just before we go in. We say, we say it was a selection. We also need to redraw the cell that's about to lose its selection. So, yeah, we, we take that away. Boom. Okay. And good cell codes, cell selection, I 
tell color man Here comes Colin. I bet you gotta do the same shit to the extract, but for old cells. Copyright, calc, shop, fishing, net, blah 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 blah. Okay, now the only thing wrong is that it's flickering like mad oh, and that it only works in column zero for left to right text but that's looking pretty cool look it read it unhighlights the one that was highlighted it redraws the one that loses the highlighting as well it probably shouldn't redraw if you're just re-highlighting the exact same thing that's already highlighting 
if um, yeah, it should do nothing. Yeah, so if it's selecting the same thing that's already selected, then it's kind of silly to, to worry too much about redrawing. Okay, that's much less flicker. Boom. So now we can float, we can move over a single word with no flicker. The flicker's a little bit annoying when we do this. Um, In theory, we only need to redraw what's under the mouse, the word that's under the mouse. But oh, we must just uh, utilize flicker-free drawing methods like double buffering and turn off the erase background flag. But for now, I think this um, anyway, this grid. I just want to clean this up. Maybe oh yes, and there's one more thing. This vector should not be an unsigned int, but a pair of UID result and column. Okay, we have a map of pairs to pairs. It's really horrible. Bit of an ugly struct. Okay, let's see how that works. And then uh, that's really not pretty. That's one of the things about C plus plus these yeah, it's ugly. Anyway, um so then the map key becomes standard make pair color, just like that, okay. Oh, this is still not right, because when do we cure it? It's like... <sighs> um, still not right. Is it? Oh, no, it is right. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's perfect. That's perfect. What won't be right now is that if we never move the mouse, but we have the mouse under something, um,
Alright. Yeah, so if we never move from now, then it won't correctly do the thing. But anyway, whatever that's hardly world ending. What's another French word? Let's learn some new French words. Bon. <laughs> Bonsoir. If our sorting is a one, I wonder if we'll see soi easily. Bonsoir. Or if it won't be that frequent. It's not actually that frequent. But that's just the text type to into... Yeah, I happen to have loaded in. It's not there at all. That's strange. I would have expected at least one or two. I mean, and if I'm spelling it wrong. Bonsoir. <laughs> I don't know French. <laughs> so... Um, Yeah, this one word. That would explain why I'm not finding it. Ah, and yeah. Okay, now it doesn't highlight on the right, but it should be quite easy to add. Now how cool is that, huh? Really nice that I that bowling's a bit gross. I don't know if I like the bowl. So now all I need is to touch mouse click. And then pop up a menu like command for impression. It's also, I don't know, um, let's try add it to, I also need to refactor this a little, this stuff needs to move around just because it's really gross and dirty right now. Uh, and that's Low. We don't want that. So that highlighted word, we can load it even, even in somewhere. Buffer that can be used. Nice, 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 nice. Actually. I can't tell if the bold is annoying or if it's if the bold is more annoying than anything else. Maybe I should just have it be an option. What we should do though is change the mask cursor or something. Just make it look like it's clickable. Uh, that could be complicated. Mm. Uh. 
reason I think it might be complicated is in Win32, the mouse goes to the stack or something weird. Event under window. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Now we could do interesting other interesting things like if there's any if you float the mouse over something like La Merci, you could highlight any others that are like oh oh merci. You can highlight them boom boom boom. If you over one you could have it show you the other one somehow like um what would also be handy is if we right click on the word to the left and get a menu like um, sort on word to the left primarily. Uh, That highlighted word, if I right click and I have a highlighted word, I want to be able to do some command on it. Okay. And this rectangle is, is a bit gross. I don't want to do a rectangle, I want to draw a dotted line below. Uh, it's a bit much the um the rectangle. That looks quite cool, I think. Just to underline, but the color isn't right now. It's, uh, is it? Oh, it's right. Yeah. Oh, it's just confusing clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. What yeah, that actually looks cool. I like that line underneath, just like that. But it's not always visible. Why? I think it's going to low. Or... Yeah, because it's supposed to be at the baseline of the...
pick a layer like this one. Or maybe even make it a minus one. No. Bad idea. For some languages it's going to be... Hmm. That's not really right. No, I mean... Mm-hmm. 